All right, I'm Nick. Today, we're gonna to take a few minutes. We're gonna talk about the new product, which is an accessory track beef up plate. We're gonna go into a bunch of details. We're gonna talk about this Outback that we have down here and this Old Town kayak that we have here. Uh, all of the Old Towns have this same track system. The Outback has this track system. We're gonna come in here, we'll just talk about it real quick, okay? Uh, these things are super flimsy. Like, you can just move this like this. It's actually hard to mount anything on there. That's the same way as it is over here. This thing's been sitting out here in the sun for about four minutes. We just brought it out of an air conditioning garage. The rear is the same way. So anytime you mount a single point item on here, it's very, very flimsy. I've had people send pictures of this stuff tearing and items falling out. And the same thing with the Old Town system here. Uh, this stuff is very, very flimsy. If you look at this fish finder here, it's just on here with a one inch ram ball. And if you touch the kayak, this whole thing wiggles. You can actually see this piece right here picking up and going down. Uh, it's not what you want. Now, we've had requests for years to make metal versions of this. And, and I just won't do it. I told everybody two years ago I wouldn't do it. And the reason was, this isn't an accident. Old Town does this on purpose, okay? So does Hobie. That way, if you break this, they can send you a part that they have five to ten bucks in, and you don't tear out your whole side of your kayak. If you replace this with metal, you put anything heavy duty on here, hit it on a dock, hook a big fish, run into a problem, and for some reason, these screws pull out and it breaks this system, you're breaking your kayak, okay? So we like to keep this plastic. I don't want it to be metal. I wouldn't produce anything in metal because someone is going to destroy their whole kayak and I'm not about that life, all right? So we actually made this for a gentleman, a similar system to this, probably a year and a half ago or so. Uh, we have redone it, we've changed it up. It's gonna come in a bag like this. It has your beef up plate. It has uh, two T-bolt setups. Put that to the side for now. And it's going to allow you to configure a variety of things. Now, this is what it looks like out of the bag. Obviously, we've been using this one for testing, so she's a little dirty. Um, it allows you to do a bunch of things. It, first off, if you want to use a Scotty mount, you have four holes to install your Scotty mount, and I temporarily installed that with two. The holes in the back are countersunk. That way, you can tighten everything down nice and thorough. And if that's installed, that allows you to put your Scotty, all your Scotty mounts in there. Uh -oh, get in there. Line up. Did I miss the hole? Allows you to put all of your Scotty mounts in there however you want it. You can adjust this how you want it, get it all set up, troll with it, use downriggers, whatever you're using for that system. The same thing, this is the Yak Attack Omega system, and the T bolt goes in the bottom like that. We'll loosen this up real quick so you can see that there are countersunk grooves in the top right here that allow this to fall in place. You can tighten this down. And once that's tightened down, you can plug and play all of these accessories. No big deal. Take that off, put a GoPro mount on there, whatever you're doing for the day. It'll also work with all your RAM products or any other product that uses a T-bolt. That hole is cut out for a T-bolt. What we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna make some adjustments. We'll also show you this version. This version, this material is very easy to work with. So this is a RAM mount that we just drilled pilot holes and then sunk these stainless steel screws into. This stuff's three quarter inch thick, so a three quarter inch screw is perfect. And I know I'm going fast, there's a lot of information here, okay? This is gonna allow you to mount whatever you want to mount to this or whatever you want to mount to this with very little headache and not cause you any problems, okay? It's also gonna be the product that we put on sale for the month. If you haven't joined our email list, I'll put a description below. Every month we send out one to two emails, whether it's new hats or a product that's on sale for that month. We do that about the first week of the month, okay? We're gonna do that today, it's the eighth. I'm a little late, we've been a little busy, okay? But it's a link below to that if you haven't joined it yet. These will be on sale. These will be the sale product for the month, okay? Now, let's pull this off of here real quick. You guys already saw how flimsy it was in this configuration. We're gonna just take that off of here. We'll install it somewhere else, but for right now, we're just gonna use this system. Very, very easy to install, two T-bolts. One of the easiest ways to do it is just to come in from this end, slide it down, get it lined up, get it lined up, drop that in, Bring it back to where you want it. 
tighten this down. Now that's a nine inch Garmin monitor that we've been running with the live scope set up. We just took it off there so we can make this video. We're gonna tighten this down. We're gonna bend it how we want it, about like that. Now, if you come here with the camera, you'll notice that all of the play is up here. All the play is up here. There's no play down here, okay? Hit it, kick the kayak, do what you wanna do. You just had a big old boat wake. Far more stable than the other side. You have two points of pressure. Part of this is actually resting on the kayak and you have the entire surface area of this, which gives you a whole much, you know, let's say much more strength, okay? About worded that terribly, but much more strength. That's good to go. Do whatever you want to do with it. Now we're going to do the same thing over here with this Outback. I get a ton of emails, a ton of messages about complaints about this, but hey, Nick, can you make this system stronger? And really, metal is not the answer. I don't think there's a great solution because it's absolutely just flimsy. We can do the same thing that we just did with this system. And remember, if you mount this in here, that's great. But then look how far out this sticks. And then if you turn it like this, well, that don't do you no good, right? So most people are going to mount their electronics here like this. This thing, we can, we can tighten it down. We can go over it again, but you guys get the picture. This thing is super flimsy. It's really not worth the time. Now, the cool thing about the Outback is you have two tracks. So what I like to do personally, let's pull this one back off here again. Gonna just take that off there completely, loosen that, slide this down, take this. Let's put this one in here. Okay, let's put that in here. Let's drop that in there like this. We'll put that one out here, and now you can go diagonal. If you don't want to go diagonal that direction, you run it this way, come back down. Now you're diagonal this way. You have all the strength that you could ever want. It's resting on the whole kayak. You have a ton of power. You can tighten this down however you want it. And look, it's just not going anywhere, okay? Like, I didn't tighten this down enough, but kind of in a hurry. Try to make the video short. This part right here, not going anywhere. We could legitimately flip over the whole kayak. We don't need to do that. Uh, let's use a different adapter. Let's use the Yak Attack one. Let's say that you want to troll with this, and I'll come around to this side. Let's say that you want to troll with this, and obviously mounting this on there, just this piece here, this is very, very flimsy. I got a good friend, Brian. He already tried to do that. Uh, it's just not a good answer, okay? We'll loosen this up. We'll get this installed real quick. Just gonna put this one out there. Slide this all back, tighten it all down wherever you decide to put it. Maybe you wanna put it in the middle. Now you can put this on here, put it however you wanna put it. You control, do whatever you wanna do. Lock that in place. I'm not a real big fan of these because obviously you see it's still wiggling, but that's this wiggling, not this this setup, okay? That'll make that much stronger. It'll allow you to put whatever you want to put on the kayak. You're gonna need to move that back. It kind of that would probably be in the way of pedaling in that location. So move it back. I like to troll my rods actually facing backwards like this. So personally I would adjust this, move this down here and then troll similar to that. So that rod's pointed backwards, it handles the fish better. Um, so that's that, it comes in a bag like this. If you're watching the video, they're on the website, there's a link below. And if you haven't joined that email list, you should consider doing it. We get a lot of really good feedback from it. That's that, solid HDPE, uh, machined right here by me and Kevin. Kevin's filming today, that's that. Tried to unpack everything. I'm sure I missed something. It is still super crazy hot out here. Just talking, breaking a sweat. So if you guys got questions, leave a comment below or send me an email at nick at Thanks for watching.